Hey guys, Luigi Taco here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we finally got through Mount Moon and evolved our Magikarp into the Mighty Gyarados. And this part, well, we're gonna start off by fighting our rival, so... He says he caught a bunch of good Pokemon. We'll see about that, though. I believe this is the second rival battle we've had. I mean, unless you do the optional one back east of Viridian City, then... or west of Viridian City, then I guess that's one, but other than that, this is the second one. As you can see, he's caught a Pidgeotto, and he raised it to a little less than our level. And so, it's not really that bad. If you caught a Pikachu in the Viridian Forest, then this thing won't give you trouble at all. And it gives good experience, 400. That's really good. And he's gonna use Rattata. I'm going to... I'll put Leaf Green out. He hasn't had too much action. <sighs> I'm finally out of school. Summer has begun. I'm really glad about it. Tail Whip. I'm about to beat the living crap out of you. Would <laughs> you use Tail Whip? Uh, if you're actually attacking his Rattata, and I've seen this before, if you attack his Rattata and you use a powerful move like Vine Whip, or Ember, or Water Gun for that matter, he will actually switch out to his starter Pokemon and it will pretty much kill you. Oh. Yeah, it's not really... It's kinda hard, but just switch out. I don't know. So this thing really isn't that hard. See, it has Ember, and that can do some really good damage to your starter Pokemon if you chose Ivysaur. And finally, as an Abra, I'll just take it out with Bite. Uh, Abra, we haven't seen this before. It's a Psychic type that evolves. Its full, its final evolution is amazing. But anyway, it's really weak in defense, and dark types are super effective to it, so just take it out. And it only knows teleport, so it can't do crap to you. You won already. Really? Hey, guess what? He's rare Pokemon. He oh, he's a Pokemaniac. He always says he's gonna smell me later, and... It always used to creep me out because it's like, you're gonna smell me? That's a little bit pedophile-ish. The Fame Checker. Did his music just change? Oh. Well, okay. Uh, the Fame Checker is an item I don't often use. What it does is you can go and look at random people. And you can just find out info about them. Like, you can go over Professor Oak, Daisy, which I don't have anything about, Brock, or Bill. Now, there's various ways to obtain info about people and get them in the fame checker. Like, some, like the sign, you can get info on a gym leader. Like, look, I just read the sign, and in the fame checker now, there's that sign. Because it tells info about Misty. And, yeah, it never really... I don't really think it's that good. And I'm, I think there's someone in here that actually talks about Misty too. Oh, actually, I just got two bill entries. Trading. Oh, right. I'll get into that later. Bill. I think I just got three entries about Bill? I think. Oh. Okay, only one. Whatever. It doesn't really matter anyway, I don't really care about Bill. So yeah, that's the fame checker. Uh, something really fast I want to show... Did I collect the rare candy there? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. So, let's just go on our way. And... Bugcatcher, this is Nugget Bridge. 
it's basically just five traders that you have to beat and then at the end something happens so I've actually thought about this a little bit uh, I'm probably gonna speed this up oh. uh, I'm probably gonna speed this up but if I don't then I don't know I'll see so if it speeds up right now then I chose to speed up but if it doesn't then I guess you'll be watching I hope. And with that, we get a level up and Leaf Green will learn Razor Leaf. That's actually not a bad attack at all. I'm gonna delete Vine Whip because I'm not gonna have two grass type attacks. <coughs> Excuse me. Forgot Vine Whip and learn Razor Leaf. Very useful. Alright, Camper Ethan is gone. Whoa, too much. Alright, with that, uh, just step in front of this guy, and he will want to battle you, or not battle you, well, aw, I spoiled it. Uh, let me go heal real fast. Alright, oh, oops, okay, well, anyway, I get a nugget. A nugget is a rare item that sells for 5,000 money. It is very good. I don't know any other word. Anyway, uh, this guy looks like a nice guy, but he's actually a Team Rocket grunt that wants me to join Team Rocket, and his offer is apparently battling, so... Another Rocket grabbing his nuts. Let's go. Ekans. Uh, fun little fact, if you spell, uh, Ekans or Ekans or... I think it's Ekans. Anyway, if you spell a snake backwards, it actually spells snake, and it's evolution, uh, Arbok, it actually spells Cobra backwards, but it's spelled K-O-B-R-A. I don't know, misspelling, but it's still, it's still pretty cool. I guess they got pretty lucky that it actually spelled a pronounceable word. I hope pronounceable is a word. Wait. Ah, my commentary is bland. Whatever. Let's just finish up the snake. And... I think I know what I'm going to use that rare candy for. I'm not going to use it for a while, but... I know exactly what I am going to use it for, but... It'll be some time before that. Ooh, you astonish me.
Alright, and the Zubat's gonna go down one more shot. And it's dead. There we go. Okay. And the Grunt is dead. Just like all of his friends back in Mount Moon. Are you are good. Oh, really? I haven't lost yet. Top leader. No, I won't think about it. Team Rocket sucks. Okay, uh, if you go up here, you'll find CM45, which is a tract. And... If you go down here, there's that little body of water. There's a trainer right here that you can actually fight. I'm not going to, just... Because I really don't feel like it. So, yeah, you can fight him for some easy experience. And there's also some grass down here where you can find some Pokemon. Uh, in case you missed the Viridian Forest, this is the only other chance until later in the game where you can actually find Metapods, Kakunas, Weedles, and Caterpies. Let's see if I find one. Oh! Well, here's a wild Pokemon that you can get. Uh, Bellsprout, Poison and Grass type. It has a pretty high special attack stat when it's fully evolved, but if you don't have a grass and poison or a grass or a poison type, oh, and you can also catch Abra here. Now you only have one shot at catching Abra whenever you find one. You can throw a Pokeball and it either works, which mine didn't, and if it doesn't, then Abra teleports away and. Yeah. So that gets annoying if you're really trying to get an Abra, but I guess you just gotta get lucky. More tall grass up there. Uh, next is a huge string of trainers, which I'm actually gonna fight in the next part. Uh, so next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we will take on this huge thing of trainers. See you guys then!